Well, on the morning the governor announced expanding COVID-19 testing across Minnesota, there's also a message of danger for the days ahead. The state reported more than 3,000 new COVID cases and 19 people died today. That is on top of 10,000 positive tests from the weekend and 65 more lives lost. WCCL's Liz Collin looks into the record setting numbers and explains what could be causing the massive spread. This is proven infectious disease control. Governor Tim Walz made a stop at the Minneapolis Convention Center this morning, home to the state's eighth COVID-19 saliva testing site, amid a palpable desperation by state leaders to get the virus under control. It's not your fault if you get this. It is your fault if you're not doing things to stop spreading it to other people and to doing the things necessary like staying home, like testing, like isolating. The governor expects Minnesota to move into the top 10 states for infections per capita soon. Do not think that you can avoid transmitting this virus to others just because you personally may not have symptoms. Case investigations seem to prove the younger, often asymptomatic population is responsible for the massive community spread we've seen for weeks. We didn't really know what to expect when uh, we were coming into this winter and ill season. A pediatrician at Centric Care in St. Cloud, Dr. Jill Amsbury, has noticed fewer kids in her clinic. She believes masks, hand washing, and social distancing is keeping them healthier than in years past. But in general, um, we're our, our kids still affect our population and they affect our community spread. Dr. Amsbury points to state data that shows what high case numbers in younger people lead to. The proportion of cases, the blue line, to a larger proportion of deaths, the brown line, in people ages 70 and up. You might think then that those patients with the highest population of positive cases um, though mild illness are the ones that potentially are spreading it. It's why she also believes whether it's an exposure or even the slightest symptom, testing is the only option. Because that is the safest thing for the state of, the, of Minnesota. I mean, really, the more that we know, um, the better off we are. Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. For more information on the hours of the convention testing site and the others that are set to open over the next two weeks, go to WCCO.com.